Welcome back guys, this is my social walkthrough part 41 where we finally gonna take on the Elite Four. Um, a bit of an update, trained all my Pokemon up to level 40. There's Lantern, Nespion, Mamoswine, Heracross, Typhlosion and Skarmory. Nothing new on moves for Skarmory, neither Typhlosion. I think I relearned Aerial Ace. Nah, I taught Earthquake to my Heracross because it has good attack. Nothing there. And I taught the TM for Psychic to Espeon. Because I feel cool. And I don't know why you can't see the bottom screen. It worked perfectly earlier. Um, oh well. Um, nothing new here. Thunderbolt, Surf Confusion, and Signal Beam. Yeah. These are going to be the moves which I'm going to take on to take down the Elite Four. Yes, they are really tough. And guys, might have you noticed the quality. I'm filming on 3DS because my DSi's charger has broken and it doesn't load no more. And that's how I did. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. Final last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Well, it isn't actually for us either, so... That's the only thing that can even bother me. Whoa, isn't the sound on? Sorry guys, um... It starts off with level 42... I think it's 40, is that too. It's moves are... U-turn... Yeah, U-turn, Confuse Ray, Follow Me, and Psychic. I usually start off with... Uh, start with Psychic this time. Usually starts off with the move me first, which can restore my health. Because I have the water absorbability. It's a second flying type, its ability is synchronized. If I said it right. I want to kill them one hit with Thunderbolt. How cool is that? And next up is a Jinx. Um Who should I go to? Who should I go to? Hmm. Let's go to Leroy. Jinx is a Enters battle with level 41. It, it's a ice and psychic types. Ability is oblivious. It moves are lovely kiss, double slap, ice punch, and psychic. Mostly gonna try to put you to sleep with lovely kiss and then use ice punch or psychic. Just depends. My typhlosion can knock it out in one hit, so there's no problem worrying about that. I don't know if my angle is good. And Slowbro! Hmm. I actually don't have anything to go to. So. Well, actually, I do. I don't actually want to use Lantern in all of the battle, because I know Lantern can take all of the team down. Yes. Even his next Pokemon. Um. I have Night Slash, so that one's going to do quite a bit. Can power up his defense and offense. It's quite defensive, but I'm still gonna take a risk. Hmm, curse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in the Elite Four. Come on. Stupid camera. Oh, actually, stupid wires. I don't actually need Heracross for this battle anyway, so. Let him take him on. Oh, yeah. Slowbro's moves. Curse, Amnesia, Water Pulse, and Psychic. Mainly, he's gonna use Curse, which powers us. Yeah, you see what Curse does. Um, amnesia, if he would use Amnesia, he would just raise a special defense so it makes it a defensive tank. Then he would try and use Psychic, and that was pretty pathetic. I thought I could get a critical hit, because that Flash actually has good. I can't believe I actually lived that. Cool. Sobra hasn't got the biggest special defense. As well as Jinx, so. Oh well, what comes around goes around. You take damage, and my and I take my hair. And you take my hair across down as well. <laughs> um, let's go this. No, SPR. Hate filming on 3DS. I can't get the controllers right because you know you have that circular thingy. Quite annoying. And it's gonna use for full restore. At least four members do that. If I wouldn't have gone to Lancer, no, it could have knocked him out in two hits. That would be just an easy battle. 
And we speed it up. And we have higher speed, obviously. Because we use curse a lot. And we knock it out. It's beyond for the win. Next up, Zatu. It's a level... No, that's his most powerful Pokemon. Um, I'm going to get to Mammoth one. I got a lot of options, actually, for Zatu. I actually practiced this battle, so I know what I'm doing. Let's go with Avalanche. It's going to mainly confuse you. Oh, yeah. It's a Psychic and Flying type. Its ability is Early Bird. Its held item is a Citrus Bear, which can then restore itself. And I hid myself in confusion. Oh, my God. Um, its moves are Confused Ray, Ominous Wind, Aerial Ace, and Psychic. So, actually, pretty good moves instead of the first one. And Avalanche works, which can do double damage back. I think I know it's the next Pokemon. It's... I think it's Exeggutor. So... It's not the end of the world yet. No, switch. Let's go to Lantern. Prove that he's not a bad Pokemon. I actually feel good and sick today. Um, okay. And Signal Beam is four times effective. Executor's ability is Chlorophyll, it's aggressive and psychic type, it's a level 41, it moves Reflect, Hypnosis, Egg Bomb, and Psychic. Obviously, you won't see much of it, because I killed in one hit. Bring out your Bug types, Fire types, Ice types, and you'll be good. The Bug types mainly work well. And we defeat the first Elite Four member, Will. I thought I was defeated. I won't change my code. I don't want to read this. Guys, I'm going to heal up and see you guys for the second Elite Four challenge. See you guys then.